All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I'm not too happy about today's video, but nevertheless, we're gonna react to Secrets and Sisterhood Season 1. This is a brand new Netflix series about an American Afghani family called the Zozardas or something like that. The reason why I react to this today is because on a surface level, yes, it simply appears like a Kardashian's knockoff, just like a copy of all of those degenerate series. However, if you look into the trailer, you will see that this indeed is an attack on Islam. With no further ado, guys, let's have a look. Take one. I've always wanted to do that. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, up until now, you can see, even though I censor everything, of course, that I can, that this looks exactly like the Kardashians. Just the typical mind numbing social programming, turning your daughters into horse Netflix type of content. But keep on watching. Having 10 sisters, it's a tumultuous roller coaster ride. And when you're Muslim American, it's next level. The bond that my sisters and I share is complete. What does that even mean? We're Muslim American. And first and foremost, this is, of course, the whole sales pitch here. This is why they show you this Muslim American. First and foremost, you're either Muslim or you're not. You are Muslim. That stands alone. Then later on, your nationality comes. You're not a Muslim American. But that being said, everything that they are showing you on TV, mainstream media, etc., is being shown to you with a purpose, of course. And we've been talking about this. Islam is the last stronghold, the purest form of monotheism, the true religion of God. And of course, now you will see an attack on Islam. How do they infiltrate it? With pop culture, of course. They want to sell you the idea of the American Muslim that can be just as everybody else. At home, you can wear hijab at home you can practice but then you go out drink alcohol and you be a ho completely unbreakable all we really have in this world is each other our parents fled as refugees from afghanistan in the early 80s we were raised in a very conservative muslim household I'm the sure. elder sisters are a little bit more traditional the rest of the sisters See, yet again, they've been raised in a super conservative Muslim household. Why are you wearing a mini skirt now with such a huge cleavage? If you really were successfully raised conservative, you would never wear such clothes. You're born in the US and we're the wolf pack. This is first generation America. This is what America promotes. Yet again, I have to interrupt this trailer every couple of seconds because it is so extremely frustrating to me. This is normal. So, Muslim is conservative. This is something from the old country. Now we are American Muslim. We practice at home. And yet again, we are normal. What is normal? Being promiscuous. Being a slut. This is normal. Go out there with your drink. Woohoo! Party! This is what it means to be human. Boobs out, drinks up, and the religion stays at home. And this is how we're gonna do it. I'm Jamila, boss lady of the family. Shakur, take one. That's me. We call her Shagoogle. She thinks she knows everything. I'm Hamida, the baby in the family. I bring the party. <laughs> I'm Nuria. I go by Noor. I'm definitely a goofball. My name is Savika. Who is the most dramatic? Definitely not me. My name is Khadija. Religion is important to me. And some of the things that they do... And see, yet again, they have to repeat it over and over again. Religion is important to me. Religion is important to me just to brainwash you into believing that being a Muslim is exactly what it means to be an American. No, it is not. It is exactly the opposite. Islam is not conforming with this Western liberal degeneracy. Not at all. This is not Islam. It does not matter if you say that religion is important to you if you do not practice. If it were important to you, you wouldn't show your daughters naked over here. Your daughters wouldn't drink alcohol, wouldn't dress themselves up like degenerates. Frankly, I don't agree with. Your lucky mom is in here. And you have holes in your jeans. It's not that bad, guys. <laughs> Let the shenanigans begin. Yeah. You throw everything back at someone's you, you can kiss my ass. Can we take a break? It's getting really serious. Things blew up and there's certain things that cannot be unseen. Yet again, this is what it means to be American nowadays. Booty shots swearing. Dad, keep it cute or keep it on mute. We all have secrets. So there is something big that I've been keeping from my sisters. If my mother ever found out, my God. The situation I'm in is nothing like how I was raised. I'm afraid of being shunned from the family. 
when you of course and now there you have it promiscuity led to whoopsie a pregnancy and now she's afraid of being shunned from the family of course we all know that she's not going to be shunned from the family quite the opposite the family will be very accepting because they're not muslims first but americans you're dating a sozada sister you're uh, having to deal with everyone this man put my sister through hell He's using you. He needs something. Fantastic. So you have a guy that has Greek god statues. Can you see this? On his arm. And usually I couldn't care less. I wouldn't judge the guy whatsoever. Here I have tattoos as well from my past. I reverted to Islam. I wasn't born a Muslim. But what you see here is of course, yet again, not Islam. This is a woman dating somebody that is fully tattooed. Obviously he's not a Muslim either. Religion is not important to you. However, it is extremely important for Netflix because Netflix is socially engineering its viewers. What you see here yet again is an idea of what Islam should become. May God protect us. So you are some piece of work, girl. I'm tired of keeping Yo. all these damn secrets. I'm ashamed for you. you ashamed I'm, ashamed. I'm done with this. For your sisters, we're going to love you regardless. Family above all. This is really hard. It's a very deep, dark secret that I've been holding in. We thought doing a reality show would strengthen our bond, but honestly, <laughs> I don't know how we got here. Yeah, Uncle no Love. idea. All right, guys, this is it for today's disgusting video. What you see here, especially in the background again, is traditional clothing. This is not even Islam per se. This is traditional Afghani clothing. And that is fine. However, they're representing it as something cultural. Yet again, those are Afghans. This is their culture. But they're not going into the theology of Islam whatsoever. Why would they? Because they're not interested in truth whatsoever. I come from a Macedonian background, from a Christian Christian Macedonian background. If I would stick to my culture, I could never become a Muslim. But this is not what it means to be a Muslim. First and foremost, we worship God alone. This is the basis, of course. And we follow Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But more than that, we of course have a Sharia. We have a law that we believe comes directly from God and is to be obeyed. Of course, we are all human. Of course, we all fall short. That is understandable. But we're not presenting it on Netflix under the disguise of, hey, look at this. This is American Islam. It is not. And as I said, there is no American Islam whatsoever. There is only Islam. Everything else comes secondary. There is no nation that can be greater than Islam. If you hold that identity politic already, you are not a Muslim. We are Muslim first and everything else comes secondary. This is why Islam is the only religion that is fighting racism actively because it does not matter where you come from what is important is that you're a good muslim or a good muslima anyways the most important thing here is of course that none of this is random if this would be just random we could point the finger and be angry at those people judge them etc 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 but then we would fall into their trap of course because then we're playing the blame game oh look at her look at him this is not what this is about the quintessence here is, this is an attack on Islam, don't you see? I'm of course firmly convinced that they will not succeed, but nevertheless, we have to be cautious because it is a slippery slope. Once this liberalism infiltrates Islam, it would have the same destiny like Christianity. Yet again, may Allah protect us. But you can see it is the same fingerprint all over this show. It is the same people behind the scenes that infiltrated Christianity prior to this. Now they're trying to infiltrate Islam. I urge all my Muslim brothers and sisters not only to boycott this show, but to actively demonstrate against it. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.